It is an honor to introduce the graduation student speaker for the School of Information Technology. Steve Velkev is from Johannesburg, South Africa. He has both Chinese and Bulgarian roots. Steve is graduating with a Bachelor of Computer and Information Sciences, majoring in Applications Development, Networks, and Business Systems. Yesterday, Steve received the Top Academic Student Award for Bachelor of Computer and Information Sciences. Steve is... Steve is also the founder of the MSA IT Society. He is also a recognized MSA debating champion. In the future, Steve would like to develop, own, and operate a technology company. Good afternoon to the Chair of the Board, Academic President, CEO, members of the faculty, invited guests, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2015. My name is Steve Valko Valsev, and on behalf of the Faculty of Information Technology at Mono South Africa, I would like to welcome you to a very special graduation day. A day dedicated to those incredible souls who sit amongst you right now. Today marks a day of celebration for a truly remarkable achievement, which has been the culmination of countless hours of living and learning we as the students had to go through. Our journey together began three, and for some, a few more years ago, when, we, when each one of us decided to make a tremendous decision to study further and enrich our lives. The decision to further oneself through university education is a critical point people have to face sometimes in their life. It can be boiled down to a simple binary decision. Zero, not to study, or one, to study. All the graduates here today picked one, and what a great decision it would prove to be. If you think about it, your life can be recorded as a long binary string made up of zeros and ones. There's a lot more to these zeros and ones, as it can get way more complicated because there are more fundamental reasons behind the decisions we make in life. Most of you are deciding who you want to be and what you want to do with the rest of your lives. This decision is a hard task, filled with lots of challenges, such as those sleepless nights, staying up studying, learning, and solving those complex problems. And don't forget those acronyms we had to know off by heart. ARP, BGP, CRC, DIR, EIS, FIFA, and on and on. Oh, how we love our acronyms in IT, as they relate to concepts, theories, protocols, algorithms, and they allow us to know so much more. The decision to study IT involves a tremendous amount of effort and commitment of note. It shows true tenacity and character to those who persevere till the end. Most of you would agree that this decision would totally be worth all the time and space, blood, sweat and tears, as this experience at studying at MSA has made you a better, wiser and stronger person perhaps even an enlightened genius was made out of you. Some of us made this decision to study further with the notion that the end result would enable us to change the world. Well, let me tell you something. This decision equals true. It has taught us the skills required to develop simple to complex technological systems which can improve the lives of our fellow man. It has given us the tools to become agents of change and has made some of us into keyboard warriors. Speaking about change, 
IT has had a profound impact on humanity and will continue to do so through your inventions and insights you make in the future. However, don't forget about the past as we rest on the shoulders of true intellectual giants. Some of these giants are the great mathematicians, Albert Einstein and James Clark Maxwell, the first programmer, Ada Lovelace, the electrical genius, Nikola Tesla. And to all those other giants not mentioned here, I would like to thank them. For these people are the true stars and heroes of this world. In my opinion, they have had more an effect on humanity than any of those Hollywood or Hayes-Quinnewitz stars would have ever dreamed to have had. <laughs> Remember that you now follow in their footsteps. Knowledge is power. However, how do we use these newfound powers to better oneself and to better humanity? The answer to this question will hopefully be revealed as you step out of student life and enter the working world, where I hope you achieve your greatness. All this thanks to the efforts put in at university. For without the knowledge gained, we would not be as wise as we are now. We all hope to achieve greatness and feel special. Well, you are special. For what you've achieved thus far, the majority of the world has yet to accomplish. Everybody should be entitled to their education. Education is a religion, as it grows you as a person and grows society as a whole. For me, education and the learning associated with it is the true peace, oh, sorry, is the true path to peace and enlightenment. It is the enabler and game changer. And everyone should have the right to an education as it makes humanity better and promotes true change in the world we live in. I leave you with this. Today marks a day you have accomplished something truly great. Attaining your degree, and most importantly, attaining these newfound abilities, skills, and knowledge will allow you to change the world we live in forever. For this world now depends on people like us to make the correct decisions and to keep those critical systems up and running. For if we don't, then today's technolo modern technological world would cease to exist. Use the knowledge in your mind and those highly trained fingers wisely, keyboard warriors, as you can now accomplish <laughs> the greatest of things learnt from this valuable experience at Monash, South Africa. From the bottom of this graceful heart, I would like to give thanks to the incredible and wise lecturers and to my fellow students and tutors. <laughs> For without you, this experience would have never been as enriching as it was. As you go forward in life, remember, you are now the future architects of this world. So plan, implement, and watch the world change around you. May you live long and prosper. <laughs>